Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. GNOME 48, codenamed Bengaluru, has been officially released and brings a series of new features and improvements that make the desktop experience even smoother and more modern. One of the main highlights is the improved notification system with notifications stacking. Notifications from the same application are now grouped together, keeping the notification area clean and organized. The release also includes notable performance improvements. Dynamic triple buffering has been introduced, resulting in smoother animations and fewer dropped frames. Additionally, optimizations to the JavaScript engine and file indexing processes contribute to a more responsive environment overall. The image viewer has been enhanced with editing capabilities like cropping, rotating, and flipping images directly within the app. Zoom controls have also been redesigned for better usability. GNOME 48 introduces two brand new system fonts, Edwaita Sans and Edwaita Mono. These fonts offer improved rendering, wide character support, and better readability throughout the system. There's also a focus on digital well-being. New tools allow users to monitor screen time, set daily limits, and receive reminders to take breaks, encouraging healthier computing habits. To help preserve hardware longevity, GNOME 48 adds an option to preserve battery health by limiting the charge level to 80%, especially useful for laptops that remain plugged in for long periods. A new audio player app called Decibels debuts in this release. It's designed with simplicity in mind, offering a clean interface that integrates seamlessly with the GNOME desktop. The calendar app now includes time zone support, making it easier to manage appointments across different time zones, especially helpful for people working remotely or across regions. GNOME 48 also introduces HDR support for systems with compatible displays, delivering richer colors and improved contrast for high dynamic range content. Finally, the text editor app receives several updates, including a new side panel for better navigation, support for global keyboard shortcuts, and windows that open centered by default for a cleaner experience. GNOME 48 continues to push toward a modern, efficient, and user-friendly desktop, improving both functionality and aesthetics for Linux users everywhere. Thank you for watching.